All right, guys, Mesh-tastic node deployment. Here's what it overlooks. So I'm hoping I get a little bit of range with this. But here's the problem I ran into, and so this is just kind of an update slash deployment, what I'm doing. So I did some testing to see how much range I have. And what I found is that if I use these amplifiers, they don't get nearly the range as if I use the Mesh-tastic without them. And I think the reason why is because there's a delay between when this sends the message and this recognizes the message to transmit, so it cuts off part of the transmission. And what I did was I tested with it and without it. And I found that without it, it gets significantly more range. So here's just kind of an update. I also want to show you where I'm going to put the node on the mountaintop. So here's the mountaintop. Incredibly beautiful. Got a little bit of blockage that direction. But I come back here, got significant views with just a little bit of blockage that direction. And here's where I'm putting it. Putting it right back here, up in one of these trees. So it'll be hidden. I've got a double solar panel. Like I said, I got a double solar panel here, feeding together, and then it's going to the USB charge plug-in here. And I've got these eight uh, LG 18650s. They're about 34 milli 3,400 milliamps each. And I'm currently getting rid of this. Got to reseal everything up, and then I'm going to deploy it today to see what kind of range I have. But I'm also using this uh, 771G antenna. Gonna clean that end up, obviously. But that's my waterproofing. Uh, 771G, I've got a 1.01 to 1.1 SWR with it. Tested it on multiple different meters. So yeah, this is my setup currently. I'll give you an update to see what kind of range I have.